part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering gameplay. For this match we have Nick playing Blue White Delver and he's going up against Rita playing Blue Black Infect. Rita started the game off by laying down on Dark Six Shores and casting the Ponder. She chose to shuffle away the cards and draw another one. Then Nick laid down an island and resolved the Delver of Secrets. Rita then laid down a swamp on her turn and put a Rune Chanter's Pike into play. Nick attacked with his Delver, taking Rita to 19. Then post combat, he laid down in planes and put a second Delver into play. Rita then laid down an Inkmoth Nexus and resolved a Phyrexian Crusader. Nick laid down a Glacial Fortress and played a Ponder of his own. He chose to rearrange the cards and leave them on the top. He then played himself a third Delver of Secrets. For Rita's next turn, she started off by putting a Drowned Catacomb into play. She then attached her pike to her Crusader and attacked, which Nick took, giving him three poison counters. Nick revealed a Ponder on the top of his library during his next upkeep, so before all the Delvers transformed, Rita used a Doomblade to destroy one of them, then they became Insectile Aberrations. Nick then played the Ponder and chose to shuffle the cards away. He followed it up by paying two life going down to 18 to resolve a Jataxian Probe and look at Rita's hand and then draw another card. Then he paid another two life going down to 16 to cast a Porcelain Legionnaire. Then for combat, he attacked with both his Aberrations, taking Rita down to 13. For Rita's next turn, she chose to animate her Ink Moth Nexus and then attack with the Nexus along with the Crusader. Nick had to take it and went up to 8 poison counters. He then put a Sea Chrome Coast in the play tap on his turn but decided to pass without attacking. Rita then laid down a second Ink Moth Nexus on her turn and then cast a Blighted Agent. Nick then used a Mana Leak on it so Rita just paid the 3 mana to let it resolve. Nick played two Invisible Stalkers on his turn but just passed again, so Rita simply moved her pike over to her Blighted Agent and attacked for another three poison, giving her the win and taking them to game two. So that'll be it for this gameplay, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end along with links to previous highlights games. And as always, if you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online. 